Hey, what's up guys? I'm KBHD here. Happy Apocalypse, since it is the 21st today as I record this, and welcome to the Hackintosh Pro Project. So I've done a couple of projects over the course of 2012, and this will be the first project that begins around the beginning of 2013. And the purpose of this project or this series is to create a beast of a video editing machine for the beginning of 2013. Now, a lot of people have already done their own PC builds, especially Windows 8 builds for the beginning of 2013, and that's pretty cool. In fact, we're giving one away already on this channel very soon, so there is the link to enter to win that one. It's a $600 build. But the one that makes this one a little bit different is objective number two of this series, which is this build will be able to dual boot Windows and OS X. A lot of you might not know, but I've been using a Mac Pro for the past couple of months, basically, for my video production, and I've gotten very used to uh, the OS X environment, so I'm going to continue using OS X. And I was using it hoping that Apple would release, you know, a new Mac Pro with an actually very powerful chip soon, but they just slacked on that. So we're taking our own initiative here and building our own Hackintosh. Now, when you consider an OS X machine for video editing, a lot of things come to mind, but you kind of have to rule out the laptops because they're not really quite as powerful and aren't really adept to video editing, at least fluidly anyway. I know the Retina MacBook Pros are more powerful, but we're rolling them out also because the fans are a little loud. So that leaves the Mac Mini, which is basically a glorified laptop, so we're going to put that aside. Then you have the iMac, which isn't very upgradable except for the RAM, which you can only max out once. If you wipe that aside as well, you only have the Mac Pro and the Hackintosh. The Hackintosh, for those of you who don't already know, is essentially taking your own parts and putting them all together and installing OS X on it. This will work with a very specific bunch of parts that work together, and you have to do your research to figure out what parts work. But in future videos in this series, I'll be documenting the selection process and all that kind of stuff to making this work with OS X and the newest version of Windows. I'm not sure if I want to do Windows 7 or Windows 8, because I'm, I'm so used to Windows 7, but if you guys leave a comment below, we'll be able to pick. Now, the reason I'm going with the Hackintosh, besides picking my own parts and besides taking initiative over Apple's delayed new Mac Pro, is price. You might have known already that the Mac Pros are very expensive for what they start at, and an equivalently specced out Hackintosh, which is your own parts, might cost half of what the Mac Pro costs. So we'll be documenting, like I said, during this video series, everything about this, the parts that we use, the build process, the install process, the how-to, everything about it is going to be covered in the video series, and uh, I hope you guys are ready for that. So this is just a sort of a pilot video to introduce you guys to the concept. The rest of the stuff is coming very soon. We're gonna start to pick parts, we're gonna start to build this thing, and then we're gonna roll on with the series and get to you know benchmarks, testing, gaming, whatever else we do on Windows or OS X, and actual video editing, and we might see something special at the end of the series. So stay tuned for that, and leave a thumbs up if you're excited, or if you like the idea of this series and want to see it move forward. You can also leave parts suggestions below if you have a specific set of parts, or if you have to see a certain graphics card in it, let me know and I'll consider it. Uh, but more importantly, I kind of want to know if this should dual boot with Windows 8 and Mountain Lion, or Windows 7 and Mountain Lion, because I haven't even used Windows 8 on a desktop yet. I've been using it almost entirely on a laptop, so let me know. Other than that, that's basically it. I hope you guys like the idea of the project. It will be moving forward soon, like I said, but not without your suggestions and your feedback. So again, thumbs up and comments are definitely appreciated. And uh, yeah, it's almost Christmas and whatever holidays you celebrate are probably right around the corner. So happy holidays. I'm home for the holidays as you can probably already tell, but uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you later. Peace.